Yo, let me tell y'all boys, man. God is good. You know what I mean? I ain't no Christian, but I always keep God in the, in the mix. You know what I mean? Whether things are up or whether things are down, got to keep God in the mix. You know what I mean? I'm very thankful for the position that I'm in. And I must say I'm very thankful for this company also. You know what I mean? Um, Like you guys know, I started here in August. And... uh what is it now and we're in october and i'm um, basically i'm dead free i paid all of my debt off you know what i mean so I put myself in a great position you know credit score is like in the jet lease stage now in the 700s so just working to keep maintaining that you know what i mean um a few things i want to talk about in this video i'm gonna tell you guys a few things that i was gonna do it in a countdown but eh, not gonna do it in a countdown but there's a few things that you should know about vl trucking before you decide to come here I'm going to share that. Um, also, somebody uh, asked me the other day, said they were going to use, they're signing on to VL and they wanted to use me as a referral and they didn't know what my name was. I usually put my name out here on the screen, but the app that I used to um, edit my videos kind of been acting up lately. So those of you guys don't know, my name is Javon, um, which I leave it in the description and my truck number is 170. For anybody that want to use it as a referral um, and i leave a link also in the description for uh the website where you can fill out the application and all that stuff yeah but um like i said i wanted to talk about a few things that you should know about vl before you guys decide to come here you guys obviously i'm gonna just make them snap because i don't want to make the video too long you guys do know about the pay someone asked me about what was it for team drivers it's 78 cents per mile for team drivers, you both get the 78 cents and you guys split the miles. Um, you're going to be running 3,000 plus miles a week. Um, you know, uh, what else? You should know about VL trucking is very, I want to say they're strict, but they're, they pay close attention to the logs. You know what I mean? The log book department, they're going to get on you. Like they're going to call you for all your pre-trips and all that stuff um and to change your bill of lead now i don't remember who it was i was reading this comment the other day um and someone said i don't want to call it i don't know if it was that guy but i think i was reading the comment and he said he got a he had um a violation for um for not changing his bill of lead numbers in the logs you know what i mean that's one thing she calls about a lot to change or not change your bill of lead numbers um you know it's very sometimes it gets it gets kind of annoying because i'm not really used to it you know what i mean when she calls and say change the bill of lady number so you know you got to get used to that you know what i mean and while we're talking about the logs um we also you have to you got to call to get the pc you got to ask to get the pc i personally don't like it it's not that big of a deal i don't like it but um, i guess they're just keeping their things straight you know what i mean i it's not my company um i just work here basically like anybody else i'm just a normal employee um to feel trucking so i don't make the rules i'm just here to follow them and do my job and you know go home but you have to call them to get the pc i personally don't like it because you know sometimes i just think it's i'm gonna give you guys a quick example the other day um i was off duty for about like seven hours or i don't remember how much hours it was but i was off off duty for quite some time and i wanted to go to the fuel station to go get some food and uh you know get a get a nice little fresh up and thing before i i took on my next load so while i was off duty i called to get the pc just to go about like 15 minutes up the road so i didn't have to sit at that location that i was to you know go do my stuff and basically she didn't give it to me she told me that um i had hours on my clock and i should wait until my um clock resets to go get it um it's for like emergency use like if you pull off on the side of the road and you run out of hours um you know that's what it's for and i just thought it was just silly because i'm like it's personal conveyance for a reason it's stuff to do like personal stuff you know what i mean but like I said, I'm just an employee here. I don't make the rules, bro. I just, I'm just here to work, follow the instructions, um, and do that. You know what I mean? So, you guys might wanna be weird, be weird. Um, also, let's touch back on the pay. So, like I said, it's 78 cents for team drivers. 
um one important thing for new drivers or people with less than a year experience that you guys might want to know you know if not might you guys are going to want to know this because <laughs> if you could get on with vl you know it doesn't get much better than that starting out you know what i mean getting on with vl with no experience making the kind of money i don't know where else you gonna make it this kind of money with zero experience but you can actually sign on to vl trucking with zero experience how do you do this you have to have a teammate you know what i mean you have to have an experienced teammate now it's not the best thing for you to i mean you got to start somewhere it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to team drive um you have to be a team driver with anyone but um not necessarily let me let me say this you shouldn't be teaming like when you just start out you know what i mean you shouldn't really be teaming because it's a lot of driving it's a lot for you to adjust to but you know you have to start from somewhere and it's a big risk also but that's one way people with no experience or little experience can get on with vl trucking you know what i mean if you find somebody that's experienced um that has their cdl and is working here with vlr they're putting in an application you guys could both put, put an application in and if you guys fit the criteria they will hire you you know what i mean i got that confirmation and they have a lot of new opportunities i just they recently sent us an email um saying they had freight from uh ups no and it's all like drop and hooks and they're saying owner operators and teams should take opportunity take um advantage of this opportunity basically you know what i mean because it's all like team so you know that's something that i've been looking into i'm not gonna say if i decide to go team as yet or whatever the case is but if i do go team Whoever my teammate is, if they have no experience or little experience, I personally will make sure that they're up to par before I, you know, start getting comfortable in the back while they're driving. You know what I mean? Um, so like I said, the pay, you guys should know that it's hazmat. Um, you got to have your hazmat and tanker endorsement to be making that 70 cents a mile or 78 cents a mile. You know what I mean? Owner operators on the lease side. If you guys come here with your own truck and trailer, I was told it was 83% of the revenue that you guys get. You know what I mean? I don't know if you come with only your tractor, what, is, what are the deductions, but that's all they told me when I had asked that question. You know what I mean? Um, what else? You know, they're not a micromanaged company. They don't pay attention to a lot of stuff. Um, they're not like, you know, going to call, keep call, call, calling you. But the biggest thing that you guys should know about VL, I don't know if anybody has told you guys anything about it, but you guys should know because it's not always, it's not just, you know, make a lot of money, this, that, and the third over here, you know what I mean? You guys should know about the fines at VL, VL trucking, you know what I mean? The fines and the, the penalties and all that stuff, you know what I mean? I believe it's like 200 bucks and then like 300 bucks um for the different types of inspections don't quote me on that but it's between there like if you pass one of those type of inspections they will give you um uh let's say level one they'll give you like 200 bucks and then like level two or something like that they'll give you like 300 bucks you know what i mean don't quote me on that i should look it up in my hand but i can't go through all that stuff but just know about their penalties and fines and all that stuff with um vl trucking you know what i mean so what happens if you do fail how it works if you fail an inspection um the first one you fail they charge you 500 bucks the second one you fail they charge you a thousand bucks and if you fail one more after that then you basically they can terminate you for that you know what i mean and they also go against it acts as it acts on warnings like if you're if you got a warning in between or if you had um not even you don't even get need to get the ticket just get the warning you know what i mean just that alone can actually pen they can penalize you for that you know what i mean um yeah so that's one main thing that you guys do need to know about vl trucking you know what i mean um the, the fines and uh the fine the penalties and the fines and the rewards um if you keep your inspection clean and all that stuff you know what i mean so you always want to stay on the safe side out there um 
like i said thank you guys very much again for watching one of my one more of my videos i have more, a lot more videos coming up um like i said i'm going to drop the description the link in the description to the company website and my name is javon j-e-v-a-u-g-h-n short number 170 if you, any of you guys want to use uh, use me as a referral also my um email will be in the description if you guys want to email me or uh if you guys have any questions or concerns drop them down below and i'll be sure to get back to you guys i'll see you guys in the next one